Hi, IOTEX community. We have a special treat for you guys in the first Meet the Delegates. And today we have Consensus Networks. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves and your company and also your goals as a delegate? Yeah, sure. Hey, I'm Nate Miller. Uh, I'm Connor Smith. And uh, we're part of the team here at Consensus Networks. Um, we're super excited to be part of the IOTEX community or at least have the chance to be part of the IOTEX community. Um, really, what our biggest goal uh, at Consensus Networks and, and what we were founded on was, was to provide uh, top tier uh, network infrastructure support, um, both on the cloud or, or in hardware data centers, which we kind of prefer. Um, but that's what we want to do. And, and, and the, the next thing, the corollary to that is, is just being able to build real life use cases uh, for IOTEX as the future of, of IoT. Yeah, we're really excited about uh, the IOTEX protocol and can't wait to see it come to fruition in all these different IoT applications. Absolutely. It was really great to have you guys on board. And now we'll dive into some more detailed questions to get to know you guys better. So uh, what is Consensus Networks and who is behind it? Tell us a little bit more about yourselves. Yeah, sure. Um, so we were actually founded back in 2016 um, by data center and cloud engineers who we saw the growth of blockchain technology and thought, hey, um, you know, we're going to have all these blockchain applications and protocols, but there's always going to be a need for underlying infrastructure support uh, to make these protocols work. And so that was really how the company was founded. Um, I came on board in, in 2018 as CEO. Uh, I'd finished up my master's uh, earlier and uh, um, I was brought on to, uh, to really kind of scale things upward and, and lead the team forward. Um, I actually teach a blockchain course uh, at the University of Notre Dame uh, for some business students, try to bring you know, real life use cases uh, to them. Um, and then later that year, into late 2018, we also won a federal SBIR to build a blockchain platform for healthcare. Um, and, and IoT, we see an intersection with IoT and healthcare coming uh, uh, shortly. You know, I don't know when it's going to be, but we know it's coming. Uh, and so we saw as we as we branched out in the community and learned more, uh, IoTech got on our radar uh, probably late last year, and and, uh, and and we really kind of thought, hey, there's an opportunity here to really uh, think about what IoT and blockchain look like together. And so it's kind of how we came upon uh, IoTech and, and some of the things we've done. Yeah, and I'm Connor Smith. I'm our CRO, CLO, and uh, after uh, for my master's, I uh, was conducting a look into how. Uh, blockchain and healthcare uh, could where that intersection would be at, and so I've been leading our project uh, through this SBIR grant to help build out a commercialization of that, and been assessing the market need in different areas. And as Nate touched on, we do see an intersection here in the future of IoT and healthcare, so that's one area we're interested in. And then also just been helping out with other projects around here and leading a few other initiatives right now. And, you know, you, you mentioned your focus on the underlying infrastructure and making sure the nodes are robust. So can you explain your approach to technology and furthermore, how that kind of applies in uh, IOTEX's world? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it, you know, like, like we were saying, um, you, know, we'll, you know, what we think a lot of it is, is, is robust infrastructure, uh, smartly, uh, smartly built. Um, and we really think a lot of that is going to be in data centers with, uh, you know, tier four data centers that, that have redundant power supplies, backups, and what that's going to allow to do is allow node operators to operate efficiently um, and at the same time maintain their, their private keys and maintain control of their infrastructure. I don't, think, I don't think the decentralized future is going to be totally on the cloud. It doesn't make very much sense to me. You know, there's mm -hmm. four or five major cloud providers out there, and if everybody, you know, it's just somebody else's computer, right? So, so we, we definitely see the future as being uh, nodes owned by you know, by the, by the users and by the providers. And so we're looking to really, really build, you know, good infrastructure. And, and we're even thinking about, you know, you know, building infrastructure and building hardware that, that can be optimized for blockchains as well. So uh, I would say that's kind of our, that's under our, our underlining approach. As with anything, things kind of creep, you know, we're in health, now we're in healthcare, we're, we're working on applications for healthcare, which is not really our core, our core principle, but that's, you know, that's just life and, and how things go. But <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, infrastructure thinking, you know, owning your own hardware and, and making that robust is, is really our, our, one of our core principles. Yeah. Great. Any, yeah. Anything to help increase the security on the end user side or firm believers in. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that is a team mindset. You know, all of our delegates have that great, uh, focus on security and performance and reliability. So glad you guys are thinking about that as well. Um, this next question is around kind of your journey 
Um, so you want to tell, tell us more about your journey, about how you got into the blockchain world and uh, the things that you guys have accomplished so far, either in IOTEX or in other networks? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, before this, I was actually uh, on, uh, uh, in the Navy for seven years. I was on submarines and did some nuclear engineering. So it was, it was pretty technical. Um, mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with, uh, with IoT, but um, I, uh, I got into blockchain probably about three years ago um, and uh, kind of caught the bug and, and started to really uh, learn a uh, program um, and do as much as I could to, to understand how, how blockchain worked, how Bitcoin worked, and, 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 uh, and so that kind of led me and that grew in, into, into learning about all kinds of other protocols and, and things out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I learned, to, got into blockchain about a year ago, sort of post cryptomania in 2017. And uh, I was a computational math major and undergraduate. And so after doing a deeper dive into the technology, I really got into all the different compute aspects and sort of the proof of work and different consensus mechanisms and realized how robust this technology has been and uh, sort of then took a dive into programming and sort of getting into the network side of things here at consensus. So, you know, I think the journey to this point has been, very great, but you guys are almost taking the next step now in becoming an IOTEX delegate. Uh, do you want to explain, you know, your rationale as to uh, first why you wanted to run as a delegate? Yeah, sure. Um, I think um, our first interaction with IOTEX was uh, late last year. We were um, we were really focusing on trying to identify other blockchains that we felt had a lot of potential um, that we wanted to support with our infrastructure. So we spent. Uh, months literally combing through uh, websites, coinmarketcap.com, just looking, look, reading wet, white papers and, and things like that. Um, uh, we spoke with Roland actually, uh, I think in December, um, and, and that kind of got us interested. We got on the test net around that time as well. Um, and, and we just, uh, you know, like I said, as I said before, we, we just were really intrigued by the intersection of IoT, healthcare, and blockchain. And so it really seemed like a really logical thing for us to get involved with as soon as we could. Um, so what do you guys plan to do as a delegate? In addition to the kind of a healthcare IoT angle, um, you know, why should the IoTex community support you guys and your candidacy for being a delegate? Yeah, as Nate mentioned earlier, our focus is on infrastructure first. That's what we do as a company. And we're really adamant about providing secure infrastructure for the community that has maximum uptime and will just provide the best possible experience for the network as a whole in addition to those staking to us mm -hmm. yeah absolutely. absolutely um i think um like yeah we're big believers in a decentralized future we think we're we're, we're glad there's so many people applying to be delegates we hope there's going to be more I, I think it's really important for a strong community mm -hmm. um yeah and so uh just you know striving for all those different things striving for that maximum uptime um some other things that we want to bring the community uh, that that we're gonna that we're gonna put out there. We, we want to allocate a portion of the rewards that we receive uh, to a community pool, um, and 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 to be able to distribute those uh, periodically to to uh, to other developers who are interested. Uh, to really try to incentivize other other uh, projects being built on IoTex as well. That's great. Yeah, the kind of the giving back model. So, do you guys want to quickly explain not really the percentages, but you know your approach to Kind of giving back. I dive a little deeper into uh, those kind of plans. Yeah, sure. Um, one uh, one community, uh, another community that we've been a part of for a while is is Factum, and, and they've mm -hmm. they've got a really strong uh, community. And one thing that they have is is they have a pretty a pretty robust community pool, and that's allowed them to build a lot of really cool projects. And so we see that as being really important um, as well, and something that we want to have happen for IoTex as well. And and uh, I think I think having that community pool could really incentivize developers to build some cool projects and really see uh, really see the network and and, uh, and the protocol grow as as developers start to build stuff. So that's really one big thing we want to be uh, be a part of. And, and the other big thing is we just want to help participate in, in the community and governance as well. Uh, there's you know everybody's got different priorities and different places that they're coming from and you know, different languages and all, all around the world. So it's tough, you know, to run a community, but the best thing we can do is, is be uh, honest, uh, open participants. Uh, and, and that's what we want to bring and, and we hope that others will, will participate in the same way. Yeah. I mean, the protocol is only as strong as, as many people are on it. And we really are firm believers in what 
the IOTEX protocol is doing, and we want to just do everything on our end to help advance that forward and help incentivize these developers to create more robust dApps and really help shape and mold the future of IoT with IOTEX as the backbone. So how can the IOTEX community learn more about you guys? Um, well, we're on Discord. We're on yeah. the Discord channel, so feel free to DM us if, if uh, you want. I, I've got the uh, Consensus Networks as my uh, as the header for my um, for my name, and then um, yeah, ConsensusNetworks.com. You can go there as well. Uh, connect mm -hmm. with us as well. We've got some of our other projects and things that we're working on are on that website as well. So feel free to check us out there. Yeah, and if for those interested uh, in staking with us at IOTEX, we have pages detailing what that might look like as well. Yeah. So any final thoughts for the community? You know, we're just really excited to be a part of the IOTEX protocol and can't wait to see where the future of it goes. And feel free to reach out to either of us with any further questions or interested in collaborating with us. We're eager to help in any way we can. Awesome. So that's Nathan and Connor from Consensus Networks. Make sure to vote for them when voting starts. And we we'll look forward to seeing great things from you guys in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.